Hey guys, so as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be doing my second update on my Sheena's Hair Emporium wig that I've been rocking for the past couple of months. I haven't been rocking it straight two months because as you guys know, when I was sent the hair to review and I did my big like 5,000 subscriber giveaway uh, and I was sent the hair, um, I had to stop because I won my Dark and Lovely contest, so I had to like put that hair review on a halt because I was getting my hair done by Keith Campbell. Um, after the contest was over and I took the weave out, I put my Sheena's Hair Emporium wig back on and it was reunited and it felt so good, guys. You don't understand. So my two month update on the hair is, um, I'm still in love with the hair. Like the hair is the bomb to me. I literally sent um, Sheena uh, an email, I think on Thursday or something like that. I randomly just sent her an email and the only thing that email has said is your hair rocks. Like I freaking love this hair. You don't understand. It gives me no kind of problems whatsoever. I get so many compliments on the street about this hair and I just love it. Um, no complaints at all. I know in my last, my first update, I mentioned that I did have a problem with it holding a curl and that it might be because of the humidity and I think I was right because I haven't had that problem at all. Um, so I think because it was like towards the end of the summer in August it's really really hot and muggy so I feel like that kind of weather doesn't hold a curl well unless you put like um, some kind of spritz or like hairspray in your hair and I, I hate product whatsoever in like my weave so I didn't do that so it caused my curls to drop but it wasn't a biggie at all because whatever it, it drops it still looks good um, but now I haven't had that problem at all with the hair so the hair like rocks um, I have no problems with tangling at all. Um, I just came in from the Kingdom Hall, or some of you guys may know it as church. I haven't really combed my hair, so this is how it looked um, today. So it's nice and bouncy. And if I want to pull my fingers through, as you can see, like it really goes through. And usually you get the tangles from underneath, so I'm going to pull from underneath. As you can see, like my hand is literally going straight through. If you want to know um, the length that I have in my hair, I have in two bundles of 18 inches on the bottom and I have a bundle of 16 inches on top and I just layered the front area with my bang. Um, and my hair is pretty long in the front so it helped. this is like my leave out right here so I just cut the bang part to just go with my hair so that's how I have like this sexy kitten kind of look, <laughs> look going on. But um, all in all, I really really seriously love this hair like a lot. As far as maintenance of the hair, um, I don't need much maintenance with the hair. The hair is just gorgeous as is. This is like the best donor that I got hair from. Um, shampoo that I use, I usually, I don't have a, spe a specific shampoo that I use on the hair. Um, I just use the leftover shampoos because as you guys know, I no longer use any shampoo that has sulfate in it. So I use L'Oreal's Evercreme, um, their moisturizing shampoo. So any shampoo that I had left over in my stash, I use on the hair. Um, to cleanse it. Now, sometimes I tend to moisturize my hair too much underneath where the oil seeps through and it weighs the hair down. And if that happens, then what I'll just use is my VO5 like clarifying shampoo or my Dove clarifi clarifying shampoo just to rinse like that oil kind of oily feel to it. And then I just follow up with like a moisturizing shampoo like Herbal Essences, um, I forgot what it's called, Hella Hydration. So um, there's no particular like special shampoo that makes this hair like work well. It just works well with any kind of shampoo. As far as conditioner is concerned, um, I alternate with conditioner sometimes. Um, like I said, I'm getting rid of my stash that I have and trying to just simplify my stash. Especially the fact that because I'm getting married and I'm moving into like a, a new home, I don't want to bring all of this product with me. So I'm trying to limit my stash. So I just use like my leftover like conditioners and things like that um, on the hair. Um, one of the conditioners that I use that I see that helps a lot with my hair is, um, with the hair, is L'Oreal's Evercreme, their conditioner. It doesn't work well on my hair, which is really weird, but it works really well on this hair. So, um, so this is what the conditioner looks like. It's the, um, L'Oreal Evercreme Nourishing Conditioner. It's a sulfate-free conditioner, so this is what I use on the hair. Like I said, you don't have to go out and literally purchase like this conditioner that I have here, but um, it's worked on my hair. It, it's nothing special about it, but it works on my hair. You could try any conditioner. And I leave it in for like a good maybe 5-10 minutes, just let it soak in, and then I just rinse out. And then I air dry it. Um, I just hang it up somewhere and I air dry it. And then 
after it's completely dry, then I'll just flexi rod it. Put it on my, put the wig on my head and flexi rod my hair and just go to sleep. Um, I will be doing a video showing you my nightly routine with this wig so you guys can see what I'm talking about because I don't know about you but I learn better by seeing instead of someone telling me so um, I'm gonna try to maybe record like before I go to sleep one day um, how I like wash the wig and how I air dry it and how I like apply the wig onto my head and set it to get like a hairstyle like this um, this hairstyle that I have is very simple I just um, pin curl my bangs and I flexi rod the back with um, flexi rods that look like this. Um, sometimes I use this, um, this the small thin purple flexi rod just for the top area to get like a little tighter curl. And then I use either the maroon or the blue one um, to do the other sides. But like I said, I'll just do a video just to show you guys how I get like a hairstyle um, that looks like this. Um, so I haven't had any complaints with shedding because I actually. Um, I haven't had complaints with shedding because I sealed the the wefts of the hair. I love to seal the wefts of my hair because I don't want to risk shedding. I just hate hair everywhere. Um, and I can't think of anything else. I haven't really had any complaints with the hair so far. Um, I even colored the hair. As you guys know, I put like some color in my hair, like right here. And I have like some under color in my hair. And even with the color, the hair still works pretty well. I don't really put too much heat on the hair. Maybe after shampooing my hair, because this hair is um, Brazilian straight, maybe after shampooing and washing the wig, I would like run my flat iron through it to give it the curl that I have right here. But then I'll pin curl it and that's that's it. No more heat for the rest of the week. Um, how often do I wash the hair? I wash the hair only when I feel like it doesn't have the bounce anymore. Because I moisturize my hair underneath, sometimes the moisturizer can get through to the hair and it can weigh it down. So once that happens and I feel like it doesn't have like this movement that it has right now, what I will do is I'll just wash the hair. Um, I've washed the hair maybe about six or seven times and I still haven't had a problem with it. It's still brand new. Um, so I will highly recommend this, this company, Sheena's Hair Emporium, to anybody that will ask me. And actually, I actually do. When people ask me like, what hair company can you recommend? I say Sheena's Hair Emporium because that's definitely that company is on the top of the list as far as like the best hair that I've ever had ever in my life. Um, she's on top with um, the hair that I got from AliExpress. Like they're on the same same boat. Okay, so the camera got full, so I don't remember where I just like I left off, but I was actually I was finishing the video and my camera just was like card full. So. Anyway, um, so you can check out Sheena's Hair Emporium. I'm going to put her website below, her Instagram below, and her Twitter below. Um, she's a beautiful woman. She great company. She's doing things on her own. And I actually respect her for just being a solid company that, you know, she just does great work. Just being, you know, the independent woman that she is. Um, that's my little rah-rah speech about her. Um, and follow her Instagram. I like following her Instagram because she, you know, she shares you pictures of her personal life and she also high, um, showcases like her clients and the hairstyles that they do with the hair. And I'm actually have my eye on, she has like a Brazilian curly. I don't know if that's the name of it, Virgin Indian curly, but she has this curly hair that is like the bomb and like my eye is on that one. So Sheena, if you listening, I want that hair. Um, but all in all, I love the hair. The hair is amazing. Um, no complaints. No complaints whatsoever. I tell you guys, I'm not lying. No complaints whatsoever with this hair. Um, if you have purchased this hair off of my review on the first time that um, I made a review on the hair, let me know in the comment box below. If you have any questions about the hair, let me know in the comment box below. Um, so my next videos that I'm going to come up with is I'm going to show you guys how I wash a wig, like my 3 4 wigs. And um, of course, I'm going to be featuring my Sheena's Hair Emporium wig and how I style it to get this look. Um, it's not really that hard. I'm keeping this wig um, on, I'm prayfully till December, unless like another hair company wants to review, wants me to review some kind of hair, then I probably will review that hair, but I will always come back to the Sheena's Hair Emporium wig. I'm definitely keeping this hair company in mind for my, my wedding hair. So um, Sheena, if you're listening, I may hit you up for some wedding hair um, because I like I love it and it'll just be the best hair for my wedding. It, I know how the company is. I don't have to worry about it matting or tangling up on me or shedding or not holding a curl well. Like I, 
I can trust that I can get really good hair for my wedding and my honeymoon. Um, I think I've rambled enough um, about it, so um, stay tuned for that. And then I have like a small little giveaway. A company sent me over some jewelry that they want me to give away to you guys, so I'll do a video for that. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for sitting through this video and watching me ramble and rave about this hair. And um, stay tuned for my next videos. Bye, guys.